Hey there, Louis Acabellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick preview of a new feature that was just released into public preview in Microsoft Teams, and that is called Live Components. Now, if you've never heard of Live Components, essentially what they allow you to do is to share content in chats, and that content could actually be edited by everybody who has access to it in real time. Now, very quickly, you can see here that I am in the chat window and I'm about to send my colleague Adele Vance a message. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the compose box, you're going to see this new icon here. And if you hover over it, it's titled insert live component. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and you can see the description. It reads, send a message that everyone in the chat can edit in line. So once I send this message, uh, Adele will actually be able to edit this in real time and you're gonna see these changes happening in real time. And you can see here, you can do this with bulleted lists, checklists, number lists, paragraphs, tables, and even task lists. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly click on checklist and you're going to see that it shows up as live list draft. So I can go ahead and add a title. So I'll just call this to-do list. And you can see here that there is a share option as well. And if you click on this, you have the ability to determine who has access to this live list, just like you would share files in Microsoft Teams. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and enter in some items. So maybe uh, collect data, analyze data, prepare report. And next, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and send this component. And you're gonna see here, it takes a few seconds to actually deliver this message. You can see it reads syncing. And so you can see now that this to-do list is here and it's listed. And now what's really cool is again, unlike in the past where you'd have to come in and edit this, I can actually go ahead and continue to add content to this message in real time, okay? Now, a few other notes. Uh, what you're going to notice is if you click on this little icon here at the top, you can see that it says, see who has access. So you can actually share a live component with other users. Uh, to do that, you can go ahead and click on copy link. And what this is going to do is this is gonna open up in the browser and you'll be able to contribute to it uh, in that manner. Now what I'll do is I will quickly demo for you what it would look like if Adele is actually editing this live component in real time so that you can see uh, what this new experience is like. And so you can see here that I am impersonating my colleague Adele, and you can see as I contribute to this live component, you can see the changes in this chat in real time. So it's again, allowing you to share content and then be able to actually edit that content dynamically uh, in real time with your colleagues. Now, what I will do quickly is I will show you what this looks like if you actually click on this copy link and you want to open it up perhaps or share it with other individuals. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And what I'm gonna do is I am just going to bring up a browser tab and I'm gonna paste the link and what you're going to see is that this is actually bringing you into that live component. And this is another way that you would be able to contribute uh, to this live content is from the Office 365 uh, browser menu here. And I will just move my browser out of the way. And so again, you're gonna see the other individuals in this document in real time. And if I go ahead and contribute uh, to this list from my browser, you can see the changes happening in real time. Now again, uh, to do this, if you are in public preview, you just wanna click on that insert live components um, and you want to insert one of these items. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and look at the task list as well. I know sharing task lists with other individuals is always a handy thing. Uh, and so you can see here that this almost replicates that Microsoft Planner experience where you can put in your tasks and actually go ahead and assign them to individuals. So collect data, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to Adele and I can just start typing the at symbol. And you can see here, I can put in people who are in my Microsoft 365 environment and I can go ahead and also select a due date. And now I'm gonna go ahead and send this. And so you can see here that this task list has been shared in the chat 
And as soon as I go in and contribute to this, again, impersonating Adele, you're going to see that additional tasks are being added in real time. So I'm just putting in a new task. And so again, just like collaborating on documents within Teams, you're going to go ahead and see this, uh, these updates being made in real time. So pretty cool, pretty handy feature. Now this feature was just released into public preview today. So again, if you are not part of the public preview, you are not going to see this feature. If you are in the public preview, you wanna make sure you go ahead and refresh your Microsoft Teams application. Now, Microsoft did announce this a while back and they actually announced that uh, these live or fluid components are gonna be coming to multiple applications, including some of uh, you know, the Microsoft Office 365 um, applications. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I think that is coming a little bit later on. Uh, they are gonna be also adding this functionality into Microsoft OneNote, and they're gonna be making this functionality available in other elements of Microsoft Teams. So specifically, as of today, uh, you cannot use these live components in channel posts. And just to demonstrate this, if I go ahead and try to create a new channel post, you are not going to see that insert live components button at the bottom of the compose box. Uh, and it's not currently available in meetings as of today, uh, but Microsoft did announce that they will be adding these live components um, to channel posts and to Microsoft Teams meetings. So that's it. This was really just a quick preview of this new um, insert live components feature that is really going to enhance the way you collaborate with your colleagues in Microsoft Teams. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, please drop a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Ecobels. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.